Hi, this is Simon and welcome to another Marvelous Videos. The X-Men universe is teeming with mutants of all different colors, sizes, and abilities. However, there are some mutations that give people access to so much power that they have the potential to be invincible. This video is about one such mutant who seemed to be supremely powerful, almost like a god, the one and only Apocalypse. The character Apocalypse was first created by Jackson Guise and Louise Simonson, and he first debuted in X Factor number 5 in May 1986. In this video, we will dive deep into the mutants' physiology and powers. Keep watching. Before we go into our explanation, we do have a very small request. If you like our content, then please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. How is Apocalypse connected to the Celestials and how does it impact his physiology? Simply hearing Apocalypse's name ought to make heroes, whether mutant or human, shudder. Even the gods themselves have been known to be defeated by the ancient and powerful Ensabanur. His fame and skills are a combination of biological and technological traits. Innumerable times, the tyrannical shepherd of evolution has shown remarkable might, deserving of his menacing moniker. Keeping this in mind, his connection to Marvel's Celestials does not come as a surprise. Mutants like the X-Men have often been proposed as the next logical stage in human evolution, especially by mutant leaders like Magneto. Considering the fact that the all-powerful Celestials approached Apocalypse to make sure that life on Earth was continued to advance along their intended evolutionary trajectory, it would seem that they share this belief. Upon approaching Apocalypse, they added Celestial technology to the already existing long list of powers that the Ensabanur, giving the ancient mutants newfound abilities. Apocalypse was given the opportunity to combine his body with celestial technology when he boarded a celestial ship that had been stranded on Earth. This was made possible by his ability to manipulate molecules. Apocalypse was basically given the responsibility of completing what he already intended to do in the first place, creating a world in which only the strongest individuals survive. The space god provided Apocalypse with all the resources he required to accomplish this. These celestial powers pretty much changed his body, giving him an upgrade of Sorts. The armor he was given by the Celestials is one of the technologies he is frequently seen utilizing. Apocalypse's strengths increased dramatically as a result of his Celestial transformation, and he was able to compete with gods like the Celestials themselves. Notably, Apocalypse once clashed with a young pre-Mjolnir Thor. During the fight, he forced Thor, a literal god, to flee with a single headbutt, and Thor claimed he could feel that the blow nearly broke his neck. This stands as a testament to just how much of a power upgrade Apocalypse had. What are the celestial energy, enabled power and abilities that he possesses? Apocalypse has been able to generate celestial energy ever since he came into contact with the celestials and their weaponry. He can also use his energy generated for several different things. Apocalypse can absorb mass and energy to increase both his strength and power to limitless levels. In fact, Apocalypse just becomes more powerful when an energy strike is employed against him since he can absorb it all. He can then use the various energies he absorbs to strengthen all of his abilities. The ancient mutant can increase his strength, speed, and invulnerability by absorbing energy. However, instead of absorbing it all, Apocalypse typically channels this energy into new attacks and defenses. He could generate a nearly impenetrable force field to defend himself from almost any attack, or he could just unleash a powerful energy blast from his palms to destroy any foes in his path. He is able to control the intensity, direction, and even the size of the energy beams he projects. Further, he can move at super sonic rates by infusing increasing amounts of energy into his body, which helps him react more quickly. This skill enables him to combat opponents that possess super speed abilities with surprising ease. Considering that he was already incredibly powerful at his base level, the celestial energy and technology have only boosted his powers and abilities, making him someone you really do not want to mess with. What enables Apocalypse to manipulate the size and shape of his body? Apocalypse is able to fully control his molecular structure, demonstrating that he is, in fact, the fittest for survival. He can strangle his enemies with his body, expand to great heights, shrink, turn his limbs into weapons, and more, using his talent. As a result, he is unaffected by the manipulation of matter and is capable of changing his molecular structure in response to any challenge that he might have to face. He has a malleable form, which means that his entire body can change 
change at his will. He thus has the ability to change his appearance, make his body incredibly pliable, keep all of his agility, and lengthen his body or limbs. Apocalypse also has the power to alter his size at will. He may enlarge or contract his body by absorbing new material or expelling old mass from an unidentified extra-dimensional source. This often gives him an immense advantage on the battlefield. Just imagine your opponent growing to be 10 times your size in front of your own eyes. Pretty crazy, right? Further, his ability to control and manipulate the molecules in his body allows him to transform his arms and fists into a variety of melee weapons such as axes, swords, shields, claws, tentacles, maces, scythes, and other items, as well as ranged weapons such as plasma cannons, thanks to his ability to change his form. In fact, Apocalypse is able to transform himself into machinery, most notably bonding or morphing with celestial technology, in addition to employing his molecular structure manipulation for fighting. This enables him to meld with the machine and have a deeper understanding of it. Apocalypse can alter his body to acquire extra superpowers when combined with celestial technology. He can also use deceptive, shape-shifting strategies to blend in crowds and infiltrate them. It is thus pretty clear that he can use his manipulation powers to give himself amazing defensive capabilities, fortifying some body portions with more heft when necessary or bending strangely to avoid blows. But last but not least, Apocalypse is also capable of transmutation, as evidenced by his skills of his ancestors. Fans of Full Metal Alchemist know exactly what this is, but for those who don't, transmutation refers to changing one form or object into another, usually via a chemical process. What builds up such insane endurance abilities in Apocalypse? In case you did not know it already, it is really difficult to hurt Apocalypse. This is because his body is immune to a wide range of injuries, and he has some of the greatest stamina in the whole Marvel Universe. In fact, during times of vigorous exertion, Apocalypse's body essentially doesn't manufacture any fatigue toxins like the human body does. He thus has endless capability for maximum effort. You may be wondering how this translates into fights. Well, imagine your opponent simply never getting tired, while your limbs start aching and you start to breathe heavily after giving your fight your all. Sound unfair? Well, that is simply what happens when you battle against an ancient god. However, do not get me wrong, he might be immortal, but he is not immune to harm. Apocalypse can be defeated in a variety of methods, but most of the time using brute force against him is ineffective. He is nearly physically indestructible due to a combination of his molecular makeup, his insane healing factor, and celestial augmentations. His inane resistance to harm was exacerbated specifically by celestial changes performed on his body, as well as his armor, making him almost immune to harm. In fact, even some of the strongest energy sources in the Marvel Universe, such as a scream from Black Bolt, cannot slay Apocalypse. For reference, Black Bolt can split planets in half by using his sonic powers, yet he's unable to harm Apocalypse. Further, like other mutants such as the incredibly powerful Bishop, N. Sabanur also has the ability to absorb energy and use it to strengthen his defense, rendering powerful attacks useless the true powers of his incredible mind. However, Apocalypse's true strength does not actually come from his enormous size. His five millennia of expertise, smart mind, and meticulous planning are the foundation of it all. He is a master of trickery and coercion, and he routinely manipulates or forces others into carrying out his dirty work for him. He's a skilled strategist and preacher. Apocalypse is also a scientific prodigy with a deep understanding of biology, genetics, engineering, physics, and other fields that are at the cutting edge of research. He is aware of celestial technology, as we all know, and he uses it for his own ends, such as altering mutants or even people. He also had mind-related powers, including telekinesis, telepathy, and cyberpathy. Starting with telekinesis, it refers to the ability to move objects or even people that are at a distance simply by the power of one's mind. Apocalypse can use his telekinesis ability to dispatch of opponents with a simple single glance. He possesses the mental capacity capacity to control a variety of energy types in addition to tangible objects. Apocalypse can also occasionally use this ability to elevate himself and simulate flight. It is further said that he can lift objects weighing more than 100 tons, yet the exact extent of his strength is unclear. Coming next to telepathy, it turns out that Apocalypse is also a skilled mentalist, although the extent of his powers is unknown. As an illustration of his mental strength, he once defeated a significantly stronger telepath than himself, Jean 
Jean Grey in the psyche space of baby Nathan. He is even seen fighting against Professor X and Jean simultaneously, which goes on to show just how resilient his mind is. He also has the ability to read and project other people's thoughts and memories, as well as his own, allowing him to extract and transmit whatever information he needs from them. This specific power falls under the category of telepathic manipulation and control, both of which he is able to do quite well. But last but not least, we have cyberpathy. Due in part to his paradoxical detour of infecting Cable with the TO virus, Apocalypse was able to mentally link with and control almost any type of technology or machinery he could reach out to. This was made possible by the celestial technology that had been attached to him. This makes him a great threat, especially in the technology and machine field world that we live in today. Imagine what would happen if we mass produced androids and Ensor Banner could simply show up and begin controlling them all. That actually sounds like a fun idea for an apocalypse movie. What do you think? Is Apocalypse capable of teleportation? One of the most practical mutant powers is probably teleportation. Anyone can have the upper hand if they can instantly travel between faraway sites. Teleportation has many uses, including getting away from enemies in a fix and surprising your enemies, catching them unaware. Hence, it is almost unjust for a godlike being like Apocalypse to possess such a power. As it turns out, Apocalypse can teleport both himself and other people anywhere on the planet. He might be able to go even farther, but the comic book pages have never shown the highest potential of this ability. It can be theorized that he can pretty much teleport between universes and timelines, but that is all conjecture. However, what we do know is that Apocalypse has occasionally teleported himself and other substantial items over great distances, including teleporting a gigantic fortress. With such immense power, he holds the element of surprise and renders his enemies incapable of planning ahead. The teleportation power literally makes him untraceable. He could launch a full-scale assault at any location in Earth in a matter of seconds and no one would be any wiser until it was too late to do anything about it. Pretty scary, eh? What is the secret behind his miraculous healing powers? Marvel has various characters with insane healing powers. Featuring on the top bar, Marvel anti-heroes like Deadpool and Wolverine, two characters that are seemingly impossible to kill and keep coming back. However, Apocalypse takes regeneration to a whole new level. Apocalypse's capacity for regeneration is made possible by his control over the molecules in his body. He has perfect control over the molecules in his body, which enables him to change the appearance of his limbs, recover from deadly wounds, and modify his body to appear to be immune to any sickness or adverse environments. As a result, Apocalypse is virtually indestructible. Even the strongest blows would be useless against him. This is because if he does get hurt, which is extremely unusual, he can simply regenerate or change his molecular structure to heal himself. Apocalypse also has the ability to enter a coma-like condition of suspended animation in which he is able to heal any wounds with the aids of his celestial technology when he is subject to extreme damage. That not even he can repair on the fly. He can cure practically any wound while sleeping thanks to celestial technology. Thus, his healing powers truly make him a thorn in the side of many heroes. Is Apocalypse immortal? This is a major question. Everybody obviously wants to know if this super-powered being, who is akin to a god, can in fact die. Since Apocalypse's original body was invincible, he had already lived for a very long time, much longer than a regular human or even a mutant, before the celestial spacecraft altered him. Apocalypse, one of the mutants who has lived on and walked this Earth the longest, gains an apparently endless lifespan through his mutations. This is probably a significant part of his survival of the fittest, philosophy because he believes he will survive whatever happens. It is vital to understand though that while being immortal he is not impervious to harm. Fortunately for Apocalypse he can also chant upon a way to increase his immortality thanks to his position as a celestial agent of the evolutionary change. The villain's enhanced body has the ability to go into a status if he sustains sufficient harm allowing him to recover from his wounds that might otherwise have stayed with him. He can always come back at full strength after being vanquished thanks to this skill and his inherent healing factor. However, there might be a catch here. The Celestials paid attention when Apocalypse connected with their Celestial technology. Apocalypse decided to serve the Celestials in exchange for being allowed by them to utilize their gadgets and technology. This indicates that the Celestials will, at one point, contact Apocalypse to collect their debt. This is the reason why some claim that Apocalypse is only semi-immortal. There is no way out of such an immense debt because the Celestials will eventually definitely collect on it. Furthermore, you would better believe 
believe that any favor requested by a being with strength comparable to Galactus' own will consume all of existence. What can happen with this idea remains to be seen. Can Apocalypse reproduce? Often people who are as powerful as Apocalypse is cannot reproduce. This is because with an offspring comes the possibility of his incredible powers being replicated and, well, two Apocalypses existing in the world would really be too much, don't you think? However, it turns out that Apocalypse actually can in fact reproduce. He had four children with his wife, Genesis, in the ancient mutant land of Akara. It is assumed that she was also a mutant and the two of them ruled Akara together. They procreated and Genesis gave birth to two girls and two boys. All four of them were also mutants and possessed immense power. In fact, four of these children went on to become the first ever horsemen of the Apocalypse, completely obedient to their master and father, Apocalypse. They went by the names Death, Pestilence, War and Famine. He also loved his children very much and when they were sealed away from him, he erected the Temple of Horsemen in their memory. Apocalypse might be a terrible villain for many, but it seems like he was a, actually, good father. What is the mystery around the blood of Apocalypse? Apocalypse's techno-organic blood is extremely unique. Other mutants can be healed by Apocalypse's blood, but humans are fatally poisoned by it. Apocalypse's blood is incredibly potent and has regenerating properties, as Dracula discovered when he started to feed on both Apocalypse and his clan of Akaba. Because of how unique Apocalypse's blood was, Dracula attempted to enslave him and keep him as a source of food. Dracula was unable to enslave him and instead Using this new information, Apocalypse went on to create a serum that he appropriately named Blood of Apocalypse. The serum was created to cure mutants who might be affected by the various diseases he was preparing to release upon the planet as part of one of his plans to wipe off the majority of the human population, as well as give his followers, 8 star star, more power. In fact, he openly offered the serum to all those mutants who were willing to join his side. The power of his blood is so strong that the techno-organic virus in his blood can literally create a new body for Apocalypse by rewriting that genetic code of the components in the in a vat of organs, blood and other bodily materials, and all he needs is just one drop of that blood. Further, Apocalypse's blood can also restore his depowered mutant's descendants, as seen when a large dose of it regenerates Chamber's lost body part and gives him the same appearance as Apocalypse. Apocalypse is practically one of the planet's most powerful beings. He's demonstrated to be capable of trading blows with huge hitters like the Hulk and the Juggernaut. Further, over the course of his long life, this godlike mutant has probably acquired the abilities of thousands of other mutants. He may call upon these powers whenever he pleases and employ them in several ways. How many powers Apocalypse possesses is unknown. It is possible that Apocalypse will eventually gather an almost infinite number of mutant skills and one day rise to the status of a true god. Hopefully, the Marvel superhero heroes will never experience such a day. Do you think Apocalypse deserves his own film adaption? Tell us in the comments section below. And of course, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.